Hey friends, this is Michelle. I'm just going to show you. I haven't vlogged in a while, but you understand. Life gets busy and I've had a lot of ups and downs when it comes to eating and trying to be a better me. So, it's Saturday, July the 30th. And I'm going to show you a protein waffle that I like to make. Now here are some ingredients right here. I'll do two eggs, a half a banana, some baking powder, black seed, got some protein powder. I'm going to use oatmeal and all that and vanilla and all that. So, and I printed it off uh, what I'm going to be putting in there on the my fitness pal. So, this should be, I grind up my own oatmeal, oat flour with uh, coffee grinder which I don't use for coffee I just there's a waffle maker so I'm going to do this and I will show you the progress of it I've got the um, waffle iron heating up with some non-stick cooking spray and I've got I mix up my um, wet ingredients the vanilla extract which was like a half a tea tablespoon my egg, two eggs and mashed banana all in together in one and then I put my dry ingredients in another and I'm going to blend them together. I might have to add some liquid, some more water if it's not um, the right consistency which that was one scoop of protein, chocolate protein powder um, the little by a tiny bit of salt and baking powder and then a tablespoon of flaxseed meal uh, for some added healthy fats what else did I put in there and of course a quarter cup of ground up oatmeal um, and I'm going to add some of these blueberries to it either on top of it or in it but I'm going to combine them and everything and see how it goes and once that's done heated up all the way I will get this in there and it looks like this is ready the light is off so I take it it's ready to use so I'm going to if you look at how it looks right now it's a, like it looks chocolatey um, so I'm going to try to get all of this in there we're going to see how it goes. I've got it all mixed up. So I'm going to put that in the sink. And I'm going to first pour this in there before I add any blueberries. And everything. So I'm going to get this thing here. I don't want to miss anything. And this um, protein waffle has over 30 grams of protein, 32 grams of protein, um, 33 carbs, which you could lower that by lowering the um, amount of oatmeal or cutting down on the banana to a quarter of a banana. I used about 50 grams of banana mashed in there. Um, I didn't add any water actually to this, so the only liquids came from the eggs, which you can lower the fat content, which the fat was only 14 grams of fat. You just got to, um, instead of two whole eggs, do uh, one egg. I did not add my um, blueberries. I just want to add a few of these blueberries. Or maybe all of them. You know, might as well, right? Right, make it chocolate and blueberry. There. We'll see how that goes and see how it tastes. I will let you know how well it is. And those were the blueberries. I found these at Walmart. And they're already serving size, washed and ready to eat. But yeah, um, as you can see, you can that's how many calories, 376 calories. And those are the carbs, fat, and protein for each thing. And um I could have just, I thought about not using a banana in it, but I thought, you know, I need some more. Yesterday was not a great day of eating, 
Let me adjust my little thing here. Hope you can see me. I'm not good at this kind of thing, but the place I work at, I love them. They're great, but they love to feed a lot of carbs. They, you know, and you, they throw temptation away, and it's hard sometimes to say no. I mean, they brought donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. Somebody made homemade ice cream and everything, and they served Hot Pockets for lunch. So I was like, oh. So I had two donuts, Hot Pocket, and homemade ice cream, along with what I usually eat. And I, so when I got home, I just pretty much had a little bit of oatmeal with a protein shake. And that was pretty much it. And uh, I was surprised, you know, um, that because I ended my day, I guess, better than I began it. Um, I lost a little bit of weight. Uh, lost probably over this past month an inch and a half off my waist and an inch off the hips. Um, so I am at 35 inch waist now and... Um, was 40 inches, I think, in the way hips, but now I'm 39 inches. So, just waiting on this waffle to get done and everything, and hopefully it won't take long. Uh, so, yeah, but since, you know, I'm going to continue trying to do better. I, I, for me, I think going to bed hungry is like key. And maybe ending my day with a protein shake. Or lower carbs at least. So we'll go see how this waffle turns out. And I'll let you know when it gets done. The light's still on. Okay, the waffle is done. It looks like it, it, it's not burnt. If you're thinking it's burnt. Remember I put those blueberries on it. So that's the blueberries on it. So my daughter's eating her rice cake over there right now. Say hey Selena. Hey. <laughs> she just took a nap. So she's got to have her nap to make her feel better. So I'm going to get this. It's a pretty good sized waffle. So if you look at it, it's like enough for several people. So if you want to cut back on that 360, 76 calories, you can only eat just half of it. That's that's pretty pretty big there, so I'm just gonna fold it in half. So as you see, the, without the that's what it would look like without it. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna put any syrup on it, but let me let me see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. That that was pretty good. So yeah, I would say. That's a good job. A lot of protein and everything. I like that the protein powder is um, only one gram of carbs, one gram of fat, and 15 grams of protein per scoop. So that's not bad. So I think I might add a little bit of syrup, but you can decide on if you want to do that for yourself. Well, thanks for watching. I hope to update you on some more better progress than just um, this. And may God bless you. And I hope your August will be really successful. And I hope to tell you about my success later on. See you then.